Welcome to Urban Fantasy PH. We are creatives who live in an urban society and give readers wish fulfillment by way of our stories, which is fantasy, but reflective of reality. Here, we get to talk to fellow creatives like writers, authors, artists, comic book creators, filmmakers, you name it. We create and share our art here in the Philippines, as well as abroad. My name is CJ Edmonds, I'm your host, and here is today's episode. Good morning, fellow bookworms, book hoarders, book lovers, and creatives. Top of the morning to you all. We are back for another episode. And yes, a brand new month. The Yuletide season is finally upon us. Happy holidays, everybody. And for today, we are kicking off our December episodes with a special guest. Now, this is episode 31 of the podcast. And like always, and during an ongoing season, our show is aired every Wednesday both for Spotify as well as on my YouTube channel. And you have the option to listen or to watch us. We leave that choice to you. But of course, whether you do both or one of the two, we do suggest that you click the subscribe button, ring the bell, so you do not miss a single episode, especially one uh, if it comes coming along. All right. Now, like always, all of our past episodes are all ready for you to return to or listen chronologically, especially if you're listening to us for the first time. Now, We've always heard about the pros and cons of multitasking. Some people don't like to multitask. Some people are for it, and some people are just clearly against it. But different strokes for different folks. And our guest for today seems to have always had a good sense of time, and not to mention balance. Now, by profession, she is a paralegal at the De Assis Law Firm in her home city of Guimaras. And she began her writing early on in school by writing for the school's newspaper the Joseph Finian at the Colegio de San Jose in Jaro, Iloilo. Now, she's always excelled and was always at the top of her class, and she won essay writing contests and became the associate director, or sorry, associate editor <laughs> of the school paper. Now, further education and foray into law was by way of her political science course in the University of the Philippines in the Visayas, and she also took up creative writing classes under the late Dr. Leon Choderlada. And she continued to write after finishing law school at the Central Philippine University. And that's why I have this book in my hands as proof today. Okay, give it up for our guest, Miss Candice Lauren. Hello, Miss Candice. Good morning. Hi. hi. <laughs> it's hi, good hi. to be here. Welcome to Urban Fantasy PH, and we're glad to have you over. Um, I hope I'm coming in loud and clear. Oh, you're welcome. I hope I'm coming in loud and clear. Yes, yes. Okay, awesome. No, you look so mysterious. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, better mysterious than scary, so, you know. Um, first things first, congrats on your book, which is your first collection of uh, poetry. Um, I first saw I first saw the book when it was displayed alongside my own books uh, and author Jane Vergara's books in the Philippine Book Festival organized by the uh, NBDB or National Book Development Authority. So I forgot to ask Jane, by the way, how did you how did you guys first meet? Mm. Or have mm. ng, ng May during the the book festival there at World Trade Center. Uh, may, may after ako nag-launch uh, ng book ko, siguro mga mm -hmm. two days after na ng launching ko, uh, may invitation ako natanggap na mag-join ako dun sa book fair. Okay. So, tapos ako naman, di happy-happy, ganun-ganun. Pero, Hindi ko, hindi ko kasi napansin yung mga paano yung gagawin, kung paano ko ako papasok doon sa book fair. Uh -huh. Hanggang sa, yung pala na wala na ako ng slot, hindi ko alam kung paano uh -huh. mag-re-reserve ng space. I even don't know what to wear during the book fair. <laughs> kasi, meron pala doon sa invitation nila na kiniklik na nandun yung mga instructions, ganon, ganon. Okay. Tapos, nung malapit na yung book fair, kinausap ko si, ano, si Miss Tapia. Tapos, mismo ako rin naguna. Nag Ay, hindi ko nabasa yung mga instruction, pero feeling ko parang hindi ko lang di talaga minahin kasi. So, sabi niya, 
Sige, anyway, meron doon writer, si Miss Jane Vergara. You can join her. Tapos, wow. sabi ko, ay, salamat naman. <laughs> diba, tapos, nag-usap na kami ni Miss Jane Vergara na na pwede niyang i-adapt yung book ko. Adapt is the word. <laughs> yung book ko, dun sa kanyang, ano, ano ba tawag dun? Kiyos? Yung, o, oh, sa, sa, sa stall niya, sa sarili niyang, oh, ano, pwesto. Oh, oh, yun. Tapos, at the same time, yung, yung sa Naga, na bookstore, yung Savage Minds, yun. Uh-huh. Yun din, kumuha din sila ng book ko. Oh, so, nice. I went to Manila and I met Miss Jane Vergara. And, yun, ang, ang bait niya. Tapos yun niya, oh, yeah. nagkakilala na kami. <laughs> nice. Shout out, Miss Jane. Yes. Tatagka namin dito. <laughs> Oo. Hindi ko akalain may makikilala akong writer. Oo. Miss Jane, namamas ko po kami. <laughs> <laughs> Alam mo, yung anak ko, gustong-gusto yung libro niya. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yung tatlong libro. Natapos, uh, natapos niya all three? Oo, oh, oo, oh, oo. Oh, oh. Talaga hindi tinigilan at hindi natapos. Hindi tinigilan? Oh. Ayaw ko nga, ayaw matulog. Oh, <laughs> I asked, I asked Jane nga eh, um, then, sabi ko, bakit inantay mong, why did you have to wait all three? Uh, bago mo i-release. Sabi niya, I know the feeling na if you're a reader, mabibitin ka pag tinapos mo yung book one and then gagawin mo yung book two and then bago mo i-release and then you know, up until you get to book three. Oh, and she oh, says, oh. I know the feeling na yung nabibitin. So I had to wait to finish all three books and then just release them all at the same time. That's also a brilliant strategy. Diba? Yeah. So, um, iba. iba yan yung akin. Binibitin ko yung reader ko. Mm. Naman <laughs> <laughs> pwede rin, pwede rin, pwede rin naman. I mean, you know, everyone will have their own uh, way of approaching um, how they release their book and how they sort of market uh, the book. And you know, there's no there's no wrong way uh, to do it. And I also believe that nothing is an accident uh, with regards to your inclusion in the Philippine Book Festival. Certainly, it introduced you to new readers out there and in search of a fresh new voice in poetry. And let me ask, as a contributor to your school paper, what kind of articles uh, did you write or contribute to the school paper? Uh, before, you know, I was a contributor since I was in elementary grade mm. and up to high school. Then, yung mga sinusulat ko noon, uh, meron na rin akong poetry, pero okay. more on essay. More on essay. Mm. Tapos yung mga features ko, mga fiction, like, ay, ang mga topics ko, mga fiction, even satire. <laughs> and more on the environment, kasi environmentalist ako. And more nice. on relationships. Okay. Yun, yun ang mga sinusulat ko. Yan ang mabenta. Relationships. <laughs> diba? um, so, so take us back to those days when you would contribute. Um, is it was the was the school paper weekly or biweekly? And was there like I don't know maybe a designated uh, day of the week for submission? Paano ba nun? Na, I remember it was quarterly. It was quarterly, uh, okay. and it was named Josephinian. And I am really proud to be a member of that. I know, siguro na, alala pa ako nila kasi <laughs> isa ako sa mga matigas ang ulo na writer. <laughs> Oo, ano, late kasi, magbigay? <laughs> ano? Ano ako? Very moody. Tsaka, naaalala ko noon, ah, uh, well, siguro, compliment na rin sa sarili ko yun. And I feel good kasi, Noon kasi ng mga kabataan ko, sinasabi ng aming ano, ng editor. Sinabi niya dun sa best friend ko. Ano ba gagawin natin dyan kay Candice para po magpasa na siya ng contribution niya para ma-publish na yung paper, yung kanya na lang yung hinihintay. Sabi ng best friend ko, ewan ko dyan, alam mo naman yan, kapag hindi niya mood, hindi niya mood. 
Yun, ganun ako kasi noon. Ikaw pala, Dapat, may kasalanan. <laughs> oo. As in, hinihintay nila yung yung sinusulat ko. Eh ako naman, sa ko, wow ka, hinihintay ha. <laughs> ganun. Pero kasi, hindi kasi ako makapagsulat eh, since, since nang maliit pa ako, kapag hindi ko siya feel. Mm-hmm. Kaya, never ako, hindi ayoko mag-employ sa mga Maraming nagsasuggest sa akin noon, employ ka ba sa ganyan, sa ganyan, para ikaw yung writer nila, ganyan, ganyan. Sabi ko, ayoko, sa masasayan yung papasweldo nila sa akin kasi ako nagsusulat kung gusto ko lang talaga. Uh-huh. Kung nasa mood ako. Tsaka okay. ayoko na may deadline. Uh-huh. Yun. Kaya alam mo kung anong ginawa ng best friend ko sa akin ng time na yon Kasi uh-huh. hinihintay na yung paper ko. Pinakain niya ako. <laughs> Nilaboy na ako kung saan. Tapos sabi niya sa akin, at 11 p.m., o oh, magsulat ka na. Parang awam mo na. At, at, at ipapasa na daw yan. <laughs> magsulat ka lang kasi nilibro na kita ng dinner. May dessert pa. <laughs> no. Talagang kukunin mo yung mood mo. Kasi pag pinipilit mo, pangit eh. Walang kwenta. Ayoko ng ano. Walang kwento yung sinusulat ko, tinatapon ko kapag pilip. <laughs> that, that was dead. So, hopefully, uh, nag-iba na yung process mo. But we'll get to that. We'll get to that. But um, obviously, there's an, an early sense of you know fulfillment whenever you submit uh, a piece. Uh, pag uh, nakapagbigay ka na, parang wow, you know, productivity. Yes, nagawa ko ang hinihingi sa akin. But just in case, would you happen to still have a copy or copies of some of the pieces that you wrote for the paper? Actually, actually, meron talaga. I, I have copies of, of that uh, Junior Josephinian. Siguro mga ilang copies pa. Pero sa school namin, when I last visited, kompleto. <laughs> mm. Kompleto yung copies nila. And I still have write-ups. No, maliit pa ako. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, uh, baka yung mga ibang sinulat mo, so the others that you contribute, you can add that to, you know, book two. Yes, yes. <laughs> diba? Actually, Why not? Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Actually, I'm planning. I'm planning kasi, alam mo, yung pagkahalungsat, talagang parang kailangan talaga ng time tsaka ng pasensya. <laughs> Pero I'm planning talaga. Na, like sa book 3 siguro kasi yung book 2 yung book 2 tapos na siya okay great great I was just gonna ask actually I'm gonna save that for later but since sinabi mo na tapos na okay at least na we siya. know that there's something to look forward to uh, yes. for, for, for book 2 but just to get us you know back on track I was wondering anong tingin mo yung natutunan mo being a contributor as well as being an associate editor na na pwede mong i-apply today being a, a creative? Alam mo, noon, pasalamat ako talaga na nag-trust sa akin yung teachers ko. Uh-huh. Tsaka yung, yung mga kasama ko sa school paper na talagang grabe yun. Nararamdaman ko noon talaga yung trust nila sa akin. Kasi miss kina ang gulo-gulo kong writer. <laughs> Very moody. Talagang... Ayaw makinig. Ito, oh ayaw makinig. <laughs> May deadline. Ayaw maniwala sa deadline. Oo, haka-haka um, lang yung deadline. <laughs> pinagpapasensyahan nila ako. Ang natutunan ko doon is, actually, hindi ko natutunan yung mag-cooperate. <laughs> Kasi, yun talaga yung sinasabi ko noon. Alam mo, sinasabi ko noon. Sige, i-publish yun na yan. Huwag yun na hintayin yung akin. Kasi magsasubmit ako ng pangit, pangit yan. <laughs> yun, hindi yan, hindi yun ang pangit sa akin eh. Pero kapag nahuhuli naman nila yung kiliti ko, sulat naman din ako ng sulat. Yun, no? tapos ang isa pang na, na ano ko, na-learn ko is, yung thankful ako kay God kasi yung talent, feeling ko ha, talent ko yun. <laughs> na na-share ko sa iba kasi hindi kasi ako masyadong ma- masalita eh unless mm-hmm. na lang na ito you interview me and I will try to share myself what's in my mind 
Pero pag wala, wala yung mga ganito interview or ano, hindi kasi ako masyadong masalita. That's why I I write na lang. Uh-huh, so happy uh-huh. naman ako na na share ko rin yung mga inputs ko sa mga classmates ko, sa mga nagbabasa. And so mga, yung, and isa pa na happy ako is yung, yung mga sinasalihan ko mga essay writing contest. Buti naman na nanalo ako. <laughs> yun buti na, na lang. <laughs> buti good, na good. lang. <laughs> uh, so ano, if, tawag, let's say, pag, 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 if you're gonna be asked to choose essay or poems, anong mas matimbang? Which one would you, uh, yung mas una mong pipiliin sulatin? Gusto ko poems. Mm, bakit? Kasi, kumbaga, two poems kasi parang natin yung feelings ko eh. Doon ko okay. siya matusulat. Kumbaga, kung na-notice mo yung poems ko, free verse, mas, yung madalas yes. verse siya. Oo, And, mas marami. Mas free verse talaga. And, oh. kasi, sige, go ahead. Doon, go ahead. Doon, ko nabibigay yung, doon ko nabibigay yung feelings ko. Unlike sa essay na na hindi siya masyado eh. Kapag na, yung, yung ideas mo, pinapahaba mo or ano, uh-huh. minsan nawawala ako sa ganun, nawawala ako. Gusto ko yung points lang na kapag tumigil ako sa isang stanza, figure na ako. Okay. Um, usually kasi pag, when you say poems, you know, there's that, I don't know if you call it obligatory rhyme, Or that's the usual connotation. If there's poem, if it's a poem, there has to be a rhyme. So, bakit naging mas komportable ka sa free verse rather than putting some rhymes in it? I mean, meron pa rin mga tingit na rhymes, but hindi yes, yung, talagang, yes. yung talagang calculated na after the first two lines, andyan ang rhyme, and then may hidden uh-huh. rhyme ka pa. Uh-huh. Yun. Kasi yung, yung poems ko, usually, what comes out first of my mind. Yun ang, uh-huh. yun ang sinusulat ko. Okay. Kasi kung makikita mo siya dun sa poem number one, what is in a poem? Uh-huh. Yun nga eh. Ikot lang ako ng ikot sa mga sinasabi ko, sa mga sinusulat ko. Iniisip ko kung ano ba yung mga dapat ko pang isulat. Pero uh-huh. at the end, babalik at babalik talaga ako dun sa una kong na- naisip. Yun yung gold out of the core of out of the core kasi ini ini ina ex na hinahalan tulad ko yung sarili ko na parang talaba siya parang talaba na kailangan mo kunin yung yung laman dun sa kanyang uh-huh. kanilalagyan at so, it, uh, at yung, its most basic kumbaga parang ganon oo oh, oh. so ano yung unang naisip ko yun na kasi yun kasi yung unang naisip ko yun ang connected sa heart ko yun uh-huh. Okay. All right, all right. So I guess that explains why mas naging, you know, why free verse is really more free because the first thing that comes to your mind, you just write it down, you spew it out and and you don't you, you don't self-edit in the sense na okay lang na harap harap hanapan ko I have to find a rhyme for this particular line and if I don't find that rhyme, the line will not work, diba? Because you know, parang alabas niyan magiging mas nage-effort ka sa rhyme rather than sa content ng poem. Yes, yes. Tama, uh, tama. Oh, na, 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 naiba yung emphasis. So, I, I, I get that. I get it why free verse works for you more. Uh, one of the things that I'm curious also about my guests, apart from their own individual writing process, is the kind of books that they read when they were growing up. Because I am a firm believer that one creative journey begins by way of what we read. Uh, so wh- I was wondering what kind of books did you read when you were growing up? <laughs> Alam mo, sa totoo lang, kahit anong libro pinabasa ko talaga simula nang maliit ako. Uy. Ano yan? Yung, yung books. Uh, sabihin ko sa'yo, uh, yung magand yung na-appreciate ko sa sarili ko simula pa noon is yung talagang basa ko ng basa. Yung parang weird ka na Meron ako ano, meron ako deadline sa sarili ko noon ng bata ako. Nakailangan mabasa ko yung seven books na hiniram ko sa library in one day. <laughs> Grabe in one day. Ala? Yes. In one day, 
yung mga books naman na yun, yung maninipis lang siya na mga fairy tales, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, stories of people na na famous, yung mga ganon, or liwayway. <laughs> Hinihiram ko yan. Yung mga magazines, hinihiram ko yan talagang ako yung bata noon na kahit yung mga adult adult magazines or adult books, binabasa ko siya. And yung parang siya kasing ano ko, parang ko siyang pagkain, yung libro. Mm. Hindi ako buhay na hindi ako nakapagbasa sa isang araw. <laughs> Alam mo, so, ang, ang, ang sarap pa kanya that, 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 that feels so true for a lot of readers that they feel that reading is 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 food for them that books are food and, yeah. and, and, and the, the thicker the book the better the meal <laughs> so yeah. I'm, I'm glad that you feel that way with regards to reading because meron naman din like ako dati growing up um hindi na ako masyadong mapagbasa siguro because i never found the right kind of books that appealed to me so parang kung ano lang yung binigay sa akin and let's say, anong binasa ng mga mas nakakatanda sa akin, o to, to, basahin mo ito sa'yo, ito sa'yo. Pero kung if the subject matter does not appeal to you, um, you will feel that reading is is a chore. Para kang sinabihan na, o oh, magwalis ka dyan, o oh, maglaba ka dyan, <laughs> o oh, magplansya ka dyan. So that, that's that's how reading is going to be for you, that it's a it's a household chore. So um, okay. it is really important to to read what you love and at the same time, you know, uh, love what you read. Uh, did um, any members of your family also encourage you to read? Because there are families that are like, what's that? You don't have to do it. You don't have to read it. Actually, mo, very thankful ako sa mother ko. Kasi siya yung first talaga na nag-introduce sa akin mag-read. Mm. Pero even though na, ano, ang gano'n na si mommy, Yung everyday na nakikita ko na nagbabasa, yung father ko. Okay. For me. Kasi, kakain, meron kaming charyo. Kami yung typical na kakain, breakfast, meron charyo yung tatay mo nagbabasa. Ganon. Tapos, yung mga libro niya, nandun lang sa bahay din. Ang dami-dami niya rin books, mga novels. So, palagi ko siya nakikita magbasa. Tapos, Yung going seven pa lang ako, or seven na ako, pinapabasa niya na ako ng dyaryo sa tabi niya. <laughs> Oo. Tapos, yun. Pero yung talaga nag-introduce sa akin ng book, isang mother ko, kasi, alam mo nangyari yan, uh, mga sabi niya, two years old pa lang daw ako. Binila niya na ako ng libro, o yung nilala ko ng mga libro, mm. Yung picture books. Yeah. Tapos na, simula na ako, ano na, in-scan ko na yung mga picture. Hanggang sa yung picture book na yon binila niya na ako ng iba't ibang klase na ng book. Even though hindi madami, kasi kasi hindi naman kami rich. <laughs> Inuutang niya pa nga yung ibang libro dati. And I'm very thankful kay mami na miski mangutang na siya. Talagang binibila niya ako ng libro. So, oh. yun, hanggang sa nag-aral na ako na hindi niya na kailangan bumili ng libro kasi ako na yung laman ng library. <laughs> Actually, at my nakahiram, age... Nakahiram ka na ng libre. <laughs> yeah. At my age, uh, 10 years old, alam mo, ginawa sa akin ng librarian ng school. Ginawa niya akong assistant librarian. Kasi... Very nice. <laughs> Every day nandoon ako sa library tapos tinatago ko yung mga libro na gusto kong basahin para hindi mahirap ng iba. <laughs> Kapag may mga panghihiram, hindi niya na alam kung saan niya hahanapin, tinapatawag na ako kasi alam ko kung saan nakatago lahat. <laughs> Very, very crafty, very crafty. Let me, let me just yes. backtrack that for, for, for our audiences. Uh, what Candice says is when she was little, she was um, assistant librarian in her school. And because she's always there in the library, you know, why not make her, you know, put her presence to good use? But what she would do is that she would put aside the books that she would want to read, lest yes. someone else reads it before her. 
So if yeah. there's like missing missing books in the library, it's like, where is that particular book? They can't seem to find it. You know who to look for. It's Candace is doing. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> yes, that's me. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hey, every day I borrow seven books and and sa lahat ng estudyante, I am the only one whose library card is being renewed every week. Every wow. week, I have a new library card. <laughs> yes. You, you, you should have been given uh, some sort of, you know, librarian award for that. Kung meron man. Yes. I have a feeling. Okay, fast forward a little bit to college. Uh, yeah. where you took up political science and you were in a creative writing class under the late Dr. Leoncio de Rolada. So can, can you tell us how was that experience like and also what kind of exercises did you guys do and did some of you, and did some of what you wrote in that class perhaps made its way into the book? Yes. Uh, so, so my story with the late Leoncio de Rolada is uh, I happened to see the, what we call that, the announcement or the flyer about his creative writing class on mm -hmm. summer, summer of 1996, I think. So, sabi ko kay mami, e kung magusto ko mag-enroll dyan, no, dun sa creative writing, sabi ni mami, bakit ano ba yan? <laughs> sabi ko, wala lang ma, ewan ko, parang it sounds good. Kasi... <laughs> Pero alam ko naman sa sarili ko na creative writing is something to do with, with creative. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. So, alam mo, amiski ang layo, ang layo ng Gimaras, papunta ng Iloilo, yung, tat, yung tatawid ka pa ng boat, hmm. ginawa ko yan one summer. So, sabi ko kay mommy, kung ma, 2,000 ang, ano, ang, ang tuition. Kaya ko, sige, sige. Mag-ano ka, mag-enroll ka. And I remember, yung 2,000 na yon 20 pieces yun na tinupi-tupi niya pa. Na, na nabuo 2,000. So, ang dami kong dinalang 20 pesos sa school. Kasi may wow. tinupi-tupi si mami. <laughs> siya, siya. So, yun na binigyan niya ako ng pang -pulsyon. So, nag So, nag-start lang ako dun sa creative writing ni Sir Deryada. Kaso nga ng time na yun ah, I was sad kasi feeling ko wala hindi niya na-appreciate yung mga sinusulat ko. Tapos hindi niya nga, sad pa nga ako noon kasi dito yun, dito sa school na to. Dito. Oh, okay, where you are. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, feeling ko, sabi ko, ano ba to si sir? Parang nagagalit na siya sa akin. Parang <laughs> talaga, hindi niya nga pinipili yung mga sinusulat ko. Tapos, parang feeling ko lang talaga hindi niya na-appreciate, ha? Uh -huh. Pero alam mo, dahil doon kay Sir Doryada, meron siya kasi yung pagka-misteryoso klaseng tao. Dahil doon sa kanya, nag-strive. I strive more. I read as in more pa talaga. I wrote more. And para, parang inaccept ko lang sa sarili ko na siguro nga da, marami pa akong dapat ma-learn. So, hindi ako na-discourage sa dahil hindi niya pinili yung mga gawa ko or hindi, hindi ako very good sa class niya. Ang ginawa ko lang, sige lang sulat pa rin ako na sulat every time na nasa mood ako. Tapos, tinatabi ko lang yung mga write-ups ko sa bahay. Tapos, alam mo nangyari, nang pumasok ko ng UP, nang... Na, na ano siya, naging teacher ko siya sa isang, ano rin, sa isang creative writing course. And I think he remembered me that time. Kasi, yung smile niya, sabi ko, ano ba yan? Siguro, alala ko ni sir. Siya kasi yung teacher na parang stricto siya. Stricto siya, pero kapag very good siya, namimigay siya ng lollipop. Mm. Mm. So, so, nabigyan ka. Binibigyan niya ako lollipop. Ang dami ng lollipop. Oh, nice! <laughs> As in, so sabi ko, siguro gusto na ni Sir yung mga write-ups ko. As in, then since then, ayun na, nakakakuha na ako ng mataas na grade sa kanya. Minsan perfect na. 
Yun nga. Tapos, and his mister used to look at me and smile. It remained in me. Yung uh-huh. hindi siya nagsasabi na, very good ka, ganyan ka. Yung ganun. Parang sinabi niya lang sa akin. Naaalala ko sa mga lectures niya yung palagi niya sinasabi. Right? What is in here and in his, what is in here just write it and everything will become beautiful mm, yun okay. natanggal ko talaga sa kanya yung sabi niya wag mong isipin yung mga grammar mo wag mong isipin yung yung mga mag reactions ng mga ibang tao wag mong isipin yung yung kumbaga yung mga kalat-kalat dyan sa paligid mo, isipin mo kung ano lang talaga yung nasa heart and mind mo, yung lang ang isulat mo. Mm-hmm. So, I, guess, I, I guess he was also teaching you about, you know, your, 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 the process that you, you should have when you create is that that's all you see, di ba? Kung baga parang, parang you're, you're like a horse with blinders on. Now, if, if this is what you want to write about, this is all you see, this is all you want to talk about, and anything else that's beyond your scope of vision, uh, wag mo nang pansinin. And huh. I guess there are also some professors who are like that. They will not, um, they won't give you praise. They won't, um, they won't say that you're bad. They won't say that you're good. But that's their way of telling you that you have to find your own process. You have to discover your own process. And when you find your own process, you, you stick to that because that's what you know and that's what works for you. And eventually, your you know your writing will come out. Your your writing will shine, and people will take yeah. notice of that. So I guess yeah, I guess that's what he was trying to do. And fast forward to today, um, he succeeded because you you realize that, no? Yeah. yeah. Um, we also know that the writing of any book um, or any let's say creative endeavor for that matter requires time it requires patience it requires your butt to be stuck in the chair so being a paralegal and a full-time mom my imagine ko lang i can only imagine your multitasking skills <laughs> so this is where i start asking you about your process um, do you have a specific time of day that you set aside for your writing or or you're no. like a panther, meaning you write by the seat of your pants and you go with the flow still, and you go with the mood. Yes. Pa rin ba <laughs> still the latter. <laughs> Aha, still the latter. Okay, till this day. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with being a panther. There's also nothing wrong with setting aside uh, a time and outlining uh, your work. And why do you think? Why do you think that that works for you? And have you attempted to do that? To, to try and be not the pantser and, and try to force or will yourself and say, okay, it's Saturday morning, there's no class, I'm not required to go to work, I have a little bit of free time, and I will try to do some free writing in about the, the, the two hours before lunchtime. Parang ganyan. Yeah. Have you ever tried anything like that? No. 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 Ang tanong, no. gusto mo ba? <laughs> Do you like to try? That's the question. <laughs> Actually, hindi. <laughs> Kasi, alam mo, I write even if I'm in front of the dishes. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Yes. Yeah. I, leave, I leave the dishes behind. Okay. I leave my cooking behind. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I even write inside a chimney. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uy, ingat sa jeepney. Uh, yes. Ingat sa telepono. Yes. Alam mo, one time nasa jeep ako, meron akong sinusulat na poem. Malungkot siya, naiiyak ako. Sabi ng sa tabi ko, ay, ano ba nangyayari dyan? <laughs> As in, I do not, I, hindi ako na, na pumipili ng lugar o ng time. Ito uh, sabihin ko sa'yo ah. Yung alitap-tap, lumabas kasi yan. Ano, one time, iniisip ko, nakatingala lang ako dun sa mga libro ko na nakalagay dun sa aparador, tsaka sa mga notebooks ko, sa mga journals ko. Sabi ko, ano ba yan? Ang dami-dami ko na palang nasusulat. Siguro, 
someday my my grandchild will publish them or my or my child you know na sa isip ko ha tapos bigla na lang ano, nag-aano ko ng facebook scroll scroll merong ano merong libro na pinublish siya about poetry ganyan ganyan binasa ko rin yung ibang content kung sandali lang may mga ganito ako ha <laughs> yun doon nagsimula yung alitap tap tapos Binuksan ko yung mga journals ko, yung iba ko mga write-ups, na hinalungkat ko siya talaga. Yung ibang post ko, sabi ko, ganito kaya. Uh, itry ko kaya siya i-publish. Nag-research na ako noon, paano magpa-publish ng libro, ganyan-ganyan. As in, talagang parang dumaan ako sa karayom. Uh-huh, sa, uh-huh. sa pinagagagawa ko. Right. It, it, it's, a le- it's a learning <laughs> curve. It's all part of the learning. Actually, dum- dumating ako sa point na sabi ko, ano ba, tama ba itong ginagawa ko na ito? Magpapublish ako ng libro? E kung ano yung iisipin ng tao? Ano yung iisipin ko? Kaya ko kaya? <laughs> or, or confident ba ako sa ginawa ko? Baka parang, baka parang lang ako sa eyes ko. Yung gano'n, yung gano'n ang uh-huh. feeling na ayaw ko siyang ilabas. Sabi ko, baka parang lang ito sa akin, sa mga anak ko, gano'n. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Tapos, yun nga, sabi ko, sige lang, itatry ko siya i-submit. Kapag na-approve siya, hindi eh, na-approve siya. <laughs> so, Wait, yun nga. Saan, saan, saan mo siya sinubmit? <laughs> Di ba, nag-submit tayo sa NBDB. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And dun sa, ano yun, sa National Library. Ah, uh, right. Actually, yun nang sinubmit ko na yung manuscript. Yung manuscript. May kwento pa yan, yung submission ng, po ng manuscript. May kwento ko ha, ganito yan. Sige, we have all day. Habaan ang kwento. <laughs> sige, sige. Yung, ano, yung manuscript ko kasi, edi, edi na-compile ko na yung mga tinatago ko. Hmm. Uh, nakaabot ako ata ng 60 poems and prose, gano'n. Di, inano ko siya, binain ko na siya. Tapos sabi ko, ano kaya, ano, i-send ko na siya, i-send ko na siya sa NBDB, gano'n. Sabi ko, kaso baka, ano, baka hindi siya tanggapin. Di ba first 20 pages daw? Ay ko, baka hindi siya tanggapin. Ganon, ganon. Alam mo ba na nanaginip ako na nag-book launch daw ako? Tapos, oh. at yun, tapos yung launch ko, dali, may tumawag. <laughs> yung, yung panaginip ko is nag-book launch daw ako. And would you believe na after mga one week, Kuwan na kasakay ako sa jeepney kasama ko yung upod, yung kasama ko sa office. Sabi ko sa kanya, Jen, Jen, tingnan mo yung damit doon sa ukay, ukay. Yun yung damit ko sa dream ko. As in, wow. Tumatayo yung balahibo ko. Alam mo binili ko yung damit ng 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 tanghali for 150 pesos. As in, kasi paniwala paniwala ako sa dream ko. In kasi And talaga jen, yung jen, jen. Andiyan oh. pa rin yung damit? Andiyan pa rin yung damit? Actually, nandiyan pa rin yung... Yun ang suot ko talaga ng launch ko. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Nice, nice. So let me, uh, let me just... Uh, let me just briefly... Tra- let me just briefly translate. Um, Candy says that um, she had a dream about having, you know, a, a book launch. And one day when she was in a jeepney, she was... She, she saw that uh, the exact shirt that she saw in her dream was being sold at a, a thrift store for Ukay Ukay. Yeah, and of course she had to buy that. And and that's the actual shirt uh, that she wore to the launching of her book. So how prophetic is that? How 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 fortuitous is that? I you know I have I have nothing to, I have nothing to say to that. But and, that, and that, is, that is a gift. That is a gift. Yes. And you know what happened? Still I did not submit the book because I, <laughs> I was not confident. Mm. And not until this is what happened next. I left okay. the manuscript of the book outside the office. And, and one client happened to browse it mm. while waiting for her turn in the office. She's browsing it and said, Who wrote this book? Is this a, is this a submission for a school? Is this a hmm. school project? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 
ano ba to? Bata ba yung gumawa ng libro na to? O ano, high school? <laughs> yun ang sabi niya. So sabi ko, ay hindi ko na siya talaga isasubmit. Talaga nawalan. <laughs> nawalan ako. Ay, nawalan ako talaga ng confidence. Okay. And you know how God works? Talaga. Ito kasi, sabi ko, ano ba yan, Lord? Kung gusto mo talaga pala, gagawin mo talaga ako ano yung gusto mo. You know how God worked for me that very moment. After siguro umalis yung client na yun, after mga 10 minutes, I scrolled my Facebook. And what I saw in the news feed was the post of a cancer patient. Uh-huh. You know what's her post? It's, I love the combination of kind words. Sabi ko, Lord, this is it. After 10 minutes, I submitted the book. I mailed it through LBC. And that's okay. it. And that's it. And then <laughs> finally, you got it approved and we have it in our, in our hands. So, um, refresh. Your book is entitled, Ampuit ng Alitaptap. So, yeah. I love it that the English translation is also on the cover. It means a firefly's blinking bum. And you also call the book a light read on life's um, heavy load. So you you gave us uh, the reason, you know, for for the Firefly uh, because you know you're scrolling through the, your books and and that sort of like in, inspired you to do that. But how did you come to decide on the actual title? Ano ba ang ano ba talaga dahil sa puwet ng alitap tap? Dahil may ilaw yes. yes. <laughs> uh, ano yan, Ang dahilan po niyan is ah uh, sabi ko. Gusto ko, yung title ko is magre-reflect ng ako. Sabi ko, hindi naman ako yung ang galing-galing na tao na kapag binasa mo yung libro ko, maamis ka or something different will happen to you. I know I'm not like that. Sabi ko, ako ordinary lang ako na tao. Maybe an ordinary writer. Sabi ko, gusto ko lang na in my little way, in my little way, na kapag binasa mo yung mga sinusulat ko, parang merong ting, yung ganun, ting. Mm, okay. <laughs> Tapos, sabi ko, para kasing, alam mo, noon pa naman, gusto, gusto ko kasi yung alitap-tap, yung firefly, kasi of all the insects in the world, siya lang yung nagbe-blink, siya lang yung may fire, siya lang yung may kutita, siya lang yung may ilaw. So, Para kasi sabi ko, mag, para magkakapareho lang naman ng itsura yung mga insects. Pero yung alitap-tap, siya lang yung may puwet na umiilaw. So, sabi ko, Miss Kima, kasi liit lang ng ilaw, ng alitap-tap, yung makuha ng reader ko doon sa binabasa ko. Sana, Miss Kima, paano, maibsan yung, nira, yung nira, nararamdaman niya, yung pinagdadaanan niya. Uh-huh. Na-feeling ko, yun din yung mga emotions na na-pour out ko doon sa mga sinulat ko. Oh, okay, I love that. I love that. So what Candice said was, what the firefly represents is is basically a spark. Uh, and she says that as long as, let's say, whoever gets to read her collection of poems, um, if something sparks within you, just like the spark of the light that you get from a firefly's bum. Uh, and it helps ease your pain. It helps ease your load. It, it lightens your, 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 your feeling about what it is that you're, you feel that you're being burdened with. Then she feels that the book has done its work. The words has done uh, their service. And, you know, uh, that's what the purpose of the book is. And that's why the firefly uh, holds such meaning for her. Now, speaking of fireflies, there is a poem in the book um, that's entitled, but um, but let me read some sun lines because it stood out. It's called I Am a Firefly, and naka highlight pa siya, oh, diba? Hinail- Wait, can you see the highlight? <laughs> yeah, highlight pa siya because it stood out for me. Thank it you, says, thank you. It says, no matter how happy I am, others would look still to me as a failure. They see my past, they see the old me. Well, I'm not anymore my old self. I am happy now, not anymore blaming myself for what I have not become. So I was wondering, do you think as, as a writer, as creatives, we sort of get caught up 
sa expectations na ibang tao. Instead of, let's say, our own goals, our own expectations for ourselves. Or maybe the word expectation is a little bit heavy because of, you know, negative connotation with the word, but perhaps goal. Because that is something that's, you know, uh, workable, scalable, and, and measurable. Do you think that that's the case? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Alam mo, lahat-lahat naman kasi ng nasulat ko, dahil yan sa hugot ko rin. <laughs> mm-hmm. Lahat tayo may hugot. Oo. 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 Kaya, uh, kaya yan ang mga nasusulat ko. Kasi, sabi ko nga, according pa nga kay Sir Daryada, uh-huh. kung ano lang yan sa puso at isip mo, isulat mo siya. So, yun nga, yung mga, yung laman ng libro na yan, kumbaga, it's a product of of myself thinking uh-huh. now and feeling now. But the feeling, you know, was there long time ago. Uh-huh. Um, I am I am digging on that feeling, looking at it, digging digging in my heart. Ano ba yung feeling ko ng five years old ako? <laughs> Yun ang ganun ako eh. Ano ba yung feeling ko ng five years old ako na palagi umaalis ang daddy ko? Uh-huh, Parang uh-huh. hindi natapansin ni mami ko na I feel different from any kid. Yung parang ganon, but, but she refused to to see na... Kasi parang feeling ko autistic talaga ako noon. Kaso yung nag, nag, ano lang yung nanay ko, nire-reject niya lang sa sarili niya na ganun ako. Uh-huh. Pero meron bang bata na nagbabasa halos basa na ng basa? Kasi ako yung basa ng basa rin. Meron? Kasi, ikaw? Kaya ikaw lang. <laughs> Urig. Original ka. <laughs> Pero... Excited pa rin ako talaga maglaro, mag-watch ng TV, maki, uh-huh. makinig-kinig sa mga usapan na mak- matatanda yung mga chismis-chismis na gano'n. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Ako, hindi ako yung totally nerd na ano. Pero naano ko lang sa sarili ko noon kasi it, kapag I am with a group, parang ayoko makisama yung sa grupo talaga ng mga tao na yan, ng mga classmates ko. Gusto ko ako lang mag-isa kasi yung sila hindi kung kasama ko sila, parang hindi ako nagiging creative, hindi ako nagiging productive. Uh-huh. Tapos, yun nga. I, I, I know the feeling. And also, uh-huh. ganun din eh, with, with regards to yung, yung, what you were trying to bring out with that particular passage is, yung expectation din ng ibang creative sa'yo, na parang, oh, nakagawa ka na ng book one. So dapat, bago matapos ang taon, lumabas na ang book two. Di ba yung mga ganun expectation? O parang, oh, nakagawa ka na ng collection ng poetry. O di, ibig sabihin, pwede ka na mag-novel. Sige, mag-novel ka din kasi ako meron din ako. Di ba? But, mm-hmm. hindi. It's that, that's, that's not how we work. And just because uh-huh. what works for another creative works for them, it doesn't mean yeah. that if you go into that, it will work the same for you. Di ba? You have to like slowly warm, you know, warm up to it. And if you don't feel like it, then you have to look for that particular uh, creative outlet or process or or that idea that you know will work for you because you alone can give justice to your own ideas, diba? Yeah, it's 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 really that and and um, and I guess you know because we operate in a world where creatives and and practical people live together because practical people will tell you no 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 hindi practical yan. Kasi kailangan uh, ihati mo yung libro mo, uh, mag-ipon ka for book two, or masyadong makapal, uh, nipisan mo yan kasi uh, people are not patient these days. They won't be able to to finish that entire book. It's too long or whatever. Um, it's unavoidable that progress natin is measured by standards ng iba and not our own. Diba? You wrote there in, in, in your poem, sa I'm a Firefly, I am okay. I really am because they don't know that I am a firefly. And yes. having having read that and having talked to you now, um, I, I still get it. I still get what you're trying to say and and the message that you're trying to to bring out. That your your process is your own, 
And if people get inspired by what you write, if people start becoming creative by what you write, if people start questioning uh, maybe their, their sense of purpose sa buhay nila uh, by way of what you wrote, then there's validation. That's your validation both as, as an author, um, your validation both as a person, and your validation that you are indeed a firefly. <laughs> Pero po kung isang, ano ha, meron lang ako isang sasabihin sa'yo. Na, you know, sometime in my life, I did not read a book na yung talagang parang I, I, I forgot something about me. Uh-huh. Oo, meron point, there was a point in my life na I forgot myself. Yung noon ang term. I forgot uh-huh. myself. Yun yung naging mother na ako. Kasi mm. alam mo nangyari noon, full-time mother ako, walang yaya, walang maid. Kasi uh-huh. hindi kami nag-start ni husband na may pera eh. uh-huh. So, I took care of my babies talaga na ako talaga for nine years. And uh-huh. alam mo ba, sa, 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 sa loob ng, let's say, mga five years, for that five years na... Sunod-sunod ah. I have not read a a book or a, even a magazine or a even a newspaper. As in, dineprive ko sa self ko yun. So parang sa pili ko, nawala na ako ng vitamins, nawala na ako ng, mm. <laughs> ng pagkain sa utak ko. Oo, nawala ka ng vitamin C at vitamin D and E. <laughs> <laughs> and the moment when I, the, on the sixth year, the moment I took hold of a book, a mm. nursery book of my, of my baby. You know, I do not read a book, but I always buy a book for my baby. <laughs> the moment I took hold of the book, oh no, it is as if I do not know how to read anymore. And mm. I, do not, I, don't, I don't know how to write anymore. Doon na, sabi ko, ano ba nangyari sa sarili ko? Na, nakalimutan yung sarili ko. Sabi ko, so yun ang hugot na isa sa mga point ko dyan sa book. Na it's about the cold coffee. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Na iniisip ko, sana makarelate ako sa lahat ng mothers, na miski makalimutan natin yung sarili natin na by being mothers, by being wives, uh, babalik at babalik pa rin tayo sa mga sarili natin, kung sino talaga tayo, kung ano talaga tayo. So ako, na mga six years na yon na medyo nararamdaman ko that I'm losing myself, I'm forgetting myself, hinanap ko uli ang sarili ko at nagsulat uli ako. And this is it. This is me now. I have found myself. I... I think I have moved on uh-huh. and I am happy to be like a firefly. <laughs> and we're happy that you were able to find yourself again. Important and that's really important. Uh, yeah. Regardless of where you are in your, in, in your lives, dear listeners, you really have to, you have to make sure that you don't lose yourself in, in the way uh, of what you do. You don't lose yourself in your job. You don't lose yourself in your your role, you know, as a parent. You don't lose yourself uh, in your role, in in whatever role that you are um, performing uh, in your life. There is also a poem in your collection which is entitled "Spare the Rod and Spoil the Child." The title itself is self-explanatory. Yeah. I was wondering, uh, growing up like me, did your mom ever use I don't know, maybe a feather duster on you or any some sort of rod-like material to enforce discipline. Kasi ako, naranasan ko yun eh. And yung um, pamalo sa akin is yung, yung mismo handle ng feather duster. Pag, uh, if I have bad grades, my mom would do that. Um, if I don't listen to her, she should do that. And, and for me, it made me a better person uh, because of it. So to, to, you know, throw that question at you, did you ever yeah. experience that? And yeah. And and, and do, you, do you actually really feel that if you do spare the rod, you will spoil the child? Yes, yes. Ah, and for me, hanger. <laughs> hanger, hanger, okay. 
Yes, wire, wire hangers. <laughs> Hanger. Yung plastic. Ah, plastic na. Okay, not the wire hangers. <laughs> Oo. Kasi, yun na, kapag hindi kasi naramdaman ng bata na dapat tandaan mo talaga yung galit na ito because this discipline is for you, di ba? Mm-hmm. Kapag hindi yeah. niya kasi na, na hindi nag-stay sa memory niya, sa heart niya, yung galit mo sa kanya, yung sabi-sabi lang, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't think hindi magtatanda ang bata. Kasi dapat yeah, kasi talaga... Kasi ang message papasok dito, lalabas sa kabila. Oo, dapat talaga mag-stay sa kanya na ay, nagalit ang nanay ko dahil ginawa ko to. Hindi yung mm-hmm. pinagsabihan lang ako, ganyan-ganyan. Oo, right, right. maganda pa nga talaga na nakikita mismo ng anak mo na minsan umiiyak pa. Oo, na naka-hurt ka. Kasi sa time na ganyan, marirealize niya na ay, na-hurt ko si nanay, ganyan. Ganon. I agree. Well, of course, we know how we discipline our own kids here is different from how they enforce it in the U.S., di ba? Uh, pag sa U.S., pagka pinalo mo yung bata, naku, pwede kang i-report ng bata sa gobyerno, di ba? Ibang-iba. It's, it's, it's really different. But let's say, if you were to discipline yung inner child mo when it comes to creating and sitting yourself down to write um, and telling your same inner child, Oy, oras na para magsulat oras na para mag uh, magcompose what kind of self disciplining do you do uh, for some people ang ginagawa nila ah, papatayin ko yung internet kasi distraction yan or magkukulong ako sa kwarto because i don't want people coming and asking me things when i'm writing um, or 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 more like i will i will put my phone on silent because the the cell phone the ping 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 that's going to be a distraction so what kind of self disciplining do you do pag gandong ka sa naka nasa mood ka talaga magsulat i isolate myself okay okay ah tinga hindi na naman ako kasi dati hindi ko nakakalaro yung kapatid ko na babae hindi kami masyado naglalaro kasi yan ang ate ko palagi na lang kundi nagbabasa nagsusulat <laughs> ganun mm. ganun ang ginagawa ko oo kaya hindi ako kasi masyado yung miski sa mga kalaro-kalaro ko. Meron akong time talaga mag-play. Meron akong time mag-chismis-chismis dyan sa labas. Pero meron ako talagang time na magbabasa talaga ako tsaka magsusulat. And so, that's also good. Kailangan, we, 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 we as creatives, kailangan natin yan. We need that. So, uh-huh. ne- never, for, for fellow creatives out there, never feel guilty when you devote a little bit of time to your reading when you devote a little time to your craft because kailangan mo yan, whether you write, whether you draw, you sketch, you pencil, mm-hmm. you ink, um, you mm-hmm. need that time for yourself. Mm-hmm. You have to feed your soul. No one else will feed your soul except ikaw, yeah. except you being a creative. Yeah. Um, may ritual? Mm-hmm. Sure. I feel guilty when the rice mm-hmm. got burned and I thought I'm done with the chicken. <laughs> really? Because you know, if I'm, if it's, if, if it's the, the time na nagluluto ako, mm-hmm. tapos bigyan lang, ting, may pumasok sa na naman sa utak ko na gusto ko talaga magsulat. Kaya alam mo sa kitchen ko, meron ako talaga notebook, tsaka mga mm-hmm. scratch paper. Good. Pag sulat ako sulat, tapos then, I'm forgetting things na, I am forgetting that I'm cooking. <laughs> <laughs> yun, kaamoy ko na lang nasusunog na yung niluluto nasusunog na yung niluluto mo walang ano na, wala lang, wala lang sarsa yung adobo <laughs> oo, yun ang <laughs> yun ako ng guilty at saka yung ano <laughs> yung kapag papasok na yung mga anak ko sa school mm. naku, wala mga baon kasi hindi ko na prepare alam mo ba, hanggang ngayon nagpre-prepare ng baon yung nanay ko pa <laughs> Hindi ko na prepare Hindi na plastic yung mga damit. Kasi nga yung nanay mo, hanggang 3 o'clock ng umaga, nagsusulat, nagbabasa. <laughs> <laughs> it's ganun talaga. That, that's really how we roll and there's really no denying. <laughs> um, in, in the years of writing, uh, may is there a writing lesson that you would write to share and impart? 
sa writing lesson. Ah, oh. um, ayun po ano, yung sa akin lang talaga yung huwag mong pilitin yung sarili mo na magsulat. Magsulat ka lang if you are in the mood and only okay. write what's coming here and what's in here. Uh-huh. Because if you stress everything, <laughs> pati mas i-stress ka rin, maglalabas yun sa write-up soon. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Pero if that's, kung yun naman ang purpose mo na, na maging stressful din yung babasahin mo, yung, yung output mo, sige, mag-stress ka. Para yung stress mo lumabas dun sa, sa sinusulat mo. And then kung sino nagbasa dun, mas-stress din. Okay. <laughs> diba? Amarin ko yan talaga. Diba? So, um, I was gonna ask you, what's next on the horizon for you? You said na meron lang book two. So, may yes. updates may updates ka ba na pwedeng maibigay for us regarding book two? Yes, I think book, book two will be released by March or April of 2024. Oh, 2024, okay. Good, yes. meron kang target date. Deadline din yes. yan. Oh, deadline din. <laughs> Ayaw mo ng deadline, pero kailangan mo magbigay ng deadline. Yes, and, yes. And, 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 uh, for, for that. I'm working ano, sa novel ko na nice. mga siguro, five years ko na siyang sinusulat. Hindi ko pa rin siya matapos-tapos talaga. <laughs> matapos din yan. You will eventually finish that um, novel. Um, can you give us a preview of what it's about? Is it is it set here in Manila? Is it set, Where is it set? Or anong uh, genre na rin siya? Ang setting niya is, yeah, it's in Manila and here in in our province. Okay. It, it's a fusion of uh, mythology, <laughs> mythology and the present, uh, the here and the now, <laughs> and the future. Okay. Of somebody, of somebody who is, uh, I think. Of somebody who is losing herself. Uh, okay. Yes. Ah. Of losing, yeah, of somebody of. Na, na wawala na siya sa sarili niya talaga. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Ang hirap, hirap, hindi ko siya talaga matapos. Hindi ko alam ko anong kailangan ko para tapusin ko yun. Well, I, I believe, I believe you will finish that. Matatapos mo yan uh, in due time. Uh-huh. Maybe, af- maybe after book two. Oh, tsaka, tsaka, in between writing kasi, in between writing, I cry. Ano ba yan? Hmm. Sabi ko ba yan? Ah, uh, so, uh, tama, tama na iyak-iyak. Basta, focus na on writing para matapos, <laughs> matapos sa tamang oras. Uh, for those who are interested to get a copy of book one, where can they get a copy of book one? Uh, since I am still learning how to yeah, how to yeah. work with Masada, <laughs> with Shopee, and with Amazon, you can get book one by texting me or by by messenger or by my my Facebook account uh-huh. because you know if if you uh, yung sa mga lasada na yan hindi ko yan maiintindihan pa ngayon ha <laughs> pasensya na kasi yun ang ano ko eh yun ang weakness ko yung mga ganyang mga bagay ang hirap uh-huh. hirap ko talaga tindigin yan so pag pasensyahan niyo na po you can only contact me through messenger through Facebook, and through my number. All right. For those, uh, well, for privacy issues, we'll keep that number um, private. For, but for those who are on Facebook and they want to message you on Facebook, what name should they look for? Um, my account is Candice Luna. And okay. Pro- yeah, the profile pic is like this. You <laughs> 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 na ako. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. I saw that. I saw that. So yeah, at least direct direct sales yeah, and for you. So that's good. <laughs> that is good. Okay. So uh, and if they want to follow you on social media, Facebook is the best way to see you and and, and reach you uh, yeah. as well. All right. So at dun ka nila, dun ka rin nila pwedeng kulitin. Candice, kailan ng book two? <laughs> All right. So that is it. That is a wrap for today. Thank you so much, Ms. Candice Lauren, for joining us on this episode. Thank um, you. We wish Thank you, you. We wish you all the best in your future writing endeavors, and uh, we wish you good luck for book two in uh, April or March of uh, 2024. Thank you also to Spine Books for your support since day one, and to our new friends over at Nerd Nibblers. Hello. 
uh, which you can follow them on Instagram as well. If you love mushroom chips, yeah, that's what the Nerd Nibblers is all about. You can follow them on Instagram and also on Facebook. Now, if in case you are a creative yourself and you would like to be featured on the podcast, all you got to do is email us at urbanfantasyph at gmail.com. If you wish to get a copy of Candice's collection of poetry called Ang Puet ng Alitap Tap, then sa Facebook po siya kulitin, sa Facebook mo siya paibiganin, and uh, mag-usap-usap pa yun. Alright? Now, if you wish to get a copy of Sojourn and Take Me Now, just simply visit the Spinebooks page on Shopee. I will put the link as well on the show notes so you just can just click on it. And follow the show on Facebook, Instagram, and Threads, as well as me over at cjedmonds.com. All right, so till oh, your daughter's there. Oh, hello, hi, hi, hi. My, my youngest. <laughs> your youngest. What's your name? Venice. 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 Okay, yeah. Venice. Yes. Hi, Venice. Nice to see you. You must be very proud of your mom uh, that uh, that she has a book out. Mahilig ka ba magbasa? Do you read? Do you read? Do you like really to read? Me. <laughs> hindi, hindi pa, hindi pa, but uh, hindi pa, but when she gets the bug uh, and uh, magbasa, I'm sure. Uh, yes, yes. Yung second, yung middle oh, yung child. Second. <laughs> ah, what, what's the name of the second? Divina. Divina, oh yung ganda ng yeah. Divina, Divina and Venice. And Hello, Divina. Divina. The ones taking the exam is Pia. Pia. Si Pia, hindi pa tapos. Hindi pa. Hindi pa tapos. All right. So we will, you know, good luck kay Pia. And for sure, she will ace that exam and she'll do very, very well. Thank All you. Right? Thank you. So I will leave you to uh, to your mommy duties. And again, everyone, till the next episode, Indie Creatives Unite. And keep creating. We will keep reading. And stay safe. Stay creative. Namaste. And blessed be. Thank you, Candice. Thank you very day. much. Thank you. Thank you. That was another episode of Urban Fantasy PH. Join us next time as we feature another creative soul who wants their art to be seen, heard, and shared. If you have your own work to share, just email us at urbanfantasyph at gmail.com. So the next episode, this is independent author, singer-songwriter, radio personality, voice actor, and fellow creative, CJ Edmonds, reminding you to always listen to your heart. Create with your mind and share with your soul. Goodbye, everybody. Namaste. Blessed be.